Hi guys, this is Shireen. How are you guys? I haven't been on here. Um, but today I have something special scheduled. Um, I want to come here and talk about um, Kara, Kara Abu Didi. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but it's Abu Didi. It's, uh, she's African and um, lovely lady. She looks so beautiful. She is um, pleasing to look at. She's she's quite attractive, actually. And she's married to um, an American man. And the reason why I chose her to do, um, to discuss, to do a discussion on her is because um, recently I've noticed that she's in um, a lot of um, videos in regards to she and her husband splitting. Now she is um she's quite young. She just has a had a baby. She had a two year old daughter, and then she just have a baby. And they they did everything publicly. Now my take on it is that um she they live an open life, and if you live an open life, I mean you have to. If, if the relationship break up, I think you should um, you should make it open so that people know what is going on. She hasn't said anything yet, but her husband has come on here and speak about um, he wants a divorce and why he wants a divorce. And he, all, he said that um, he wants a divorce because she is um, she's a narcissist. Right. We don't know. We're just hearing his side, not her side. So we can't judge. But um, my personal take on it is that, um, you know, she is flamboyant. She's quite attractive. I mean, uh, if a lot of men would find her quite attractive, I'm just going to play a video of her so that we can. Um, get some idea of who we're talking about. I'm going to share my screen here. So that's her. Guys, she is the best. She is the best. She is the best. Listen, that girl is quite, uh, uh, I think she's quite an entertainer. I also think that if she was um, of different ethnicity, she would have gone more viral. It's such a word. She deserve a medal for her dancing. She's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, she's pregnant there and she's dancing off like that. Now, back to the story with she and her husband. Do you think that um, with uh, being an entertainer, um, I mean, what are your thoughts on her or just seeing her? I'm going to go with um, Gian first. I'm going to invite Gian on the stream here. Invite. Hello. Hi, Gian. I think you're muted. Hello. Yeah, what are your thoughts on this young lady? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, um, what are you? I'm not part I'm not um particular about um persons like her who exposes themselves to the public like that. I don't agree with those type of her character. 
Why not? Because if this is how she make her money, what I don't understand what you mean by yeah, her but currency. um, you don't know, see how she dress. She don't have on any clothes. So, but so, I don't. Yeah, so but, your body, your remember, your body is the temple of Christ, and you're not supposed to be exposing yourself like that to the whole world. She's an entertainer, though. That is her livelihood, and she has a gift. She has a gift, and I, I, I mean, this is your opinion, you know. I mean, it's your opinion. I beg to differ. I think she's I gorgeous and I think she can she's... dance. You can dance, but you don't have to be wearing dancing in an underwear and brazier top only. Nothing is wrong with her dancing, but it's just my personal view on I don't agree when persons expose themselves like that. So now her husband came online. Because obviously they had the last baby and they um, had the baby online. So now her husband says she's a narcissist and they are trying to work on the marriage since 2018. What would you suggest the husband do or did you, would you suggest the husband publicly uh, put that on face on, 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 on social media? Well, as I said before, they live a public life. So everything about them is public. So... Okay. No one should disagree or bash the husband for being public about their relationship not working. Because everything about them was public. So, I'm not going to bash the husband. But however, there is two sides to a story. Because the husband um, give his side, she didn't come and say anything. So, I'm not going to judge the husband. He knows what he's going through. And if he decided that in 2022, he cannot take it anymore, you can't blame him because if it was the other way around, women would want to say the same thing. Leave him. She, had, she just had a baby, though. Maybe she's going through postmortem depression. So should he should he wait? No, but remember, it started from 2018. How long do you carry a pregnancy for? Nine, Nine months. months. And how many years has it been since they have been having problems? So the problems start before the baby was conceived. Yeah, it's just that's a pity true. that a baby was brought brought in the in the scene where maybe they think that if they had another child it would mend the relationship. Who oh, no. knows? Well, my opinion, let me let me let me let me first state it. I am not really on her side and I'm not on his side. What I'm I not see here any side either. Hold on. What I see here is a young lady who has her whole life ahead of her. And when he met her, because she'd been dancing for years, so he knew what he was getting himself into. Right? That is that is first and foremost. I mean, this is how she makes a living. And I mean, if we don't agree with the way she um she shows her body, that is one thing, but this is her livelihood. And if she thinks that exposing her body like this this is how she's going to uh make her her, her, her her livelihood i say go for it right but um the husband knew knew that she lived this kind of lifestyle before now i can't sit here and say well he's tired of it he knew what he was doing he knew he i just feel like um Maybe he just can't handle her. I mean, it is wrong for me to say. I just think that he can't handle her. I just think that, um, oh, yes, and he did state it that she had an affair in the beginning of the relationship. No, and he they worked it out. No, when somebody cheat, a cheater is always a cheater sometimes, unless they get counseling. So obviously something was... Um, 
something was not right in the relationship, why she cheated in the beginning, right? And if it's in the beginning, in the beginning, it's supposed to be the lovey dovey stage. And if she's been, if she's cheating in the beginning, I don't think she should have married him. Anyways, let me um, hear from a young man who is um, he's 26 years old and hear his opinion on the whole thing, seeing that he um, have some you no know, background about um, this, this young lady. Um, we're going to ask um, Breton. Breton, turn your mic off, please. Yeah, what are your opinions? You know what? Before before you give me your opinion, I'm gonna share my screen again just to um just to um give the people just in case somebody just um joined so that they can see um the video. I'm gonna share the video one more time. Anyways, I was enjoying the music so much, guys. <laughs> so, Bertan, what are your opinions? Well, I like your music too. It's it's nice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, she makes her money the way she makes her money. Um, she's got to do what she's got to do in a sense. I think in the sense of her husband, um, wouldn't, like, isn't she, like, what type of relationship was it? Was it amicable in the sense of the leaving? Or was it, were they, like, who was, who left who? So um, he came on social media and stated that um, he um, he can't take it anymore. He's leaving. He wants a divorce. And um, so she's a YouTuber who puts on video every, maybe every day or every other day or so. I'm not sure. And she does a lot of dancing in the video. And she's mostly exposing herself. But that's 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 beside the point. That's how she make her money. So that's, you know, listen, that's entertainment. You gotta do what you gotta do to make money and you get the views. I get it. But I, the point I don't understand is she cheated on him. No, she cheated on him in the beginning. And and then now he's saying that she's a narcissist and he can't deal with it anymore and he wants a divorce. Just after they have their baby, they had a new baby a week ago, and it was public. It was on, it was, it was on, um, they had the baby in public, basically. It was a water birth. Right. Um, just, just a minute. Um, I think I saw a video mm -hmm. that the husband posted where he was, um, telling her to, 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 to admit to what she was doing. Something about some cheating. So was that video a long time ago or was it? No, the video was recently where, she, where he says, say what you say. Apparently she said something maybe rude to him or whatnot. And um, he's asking her to repeat it. But we don't know for sure what she said before the camera was on. So we can't stipulate. We can't say anything. We don't know. But apparently it wasn't good. So he wanted to bring it on camera but she wouldn't she just shut down and didn't say anything yeah so. but because i don't think it's just the dancing and her exposing herself why he would want a divorce it must be other stuff they cheated it I think it's in, that... there's more to the to the it's yeah. i think it's more than the dancing it's yeah but she just has a baby why would she be cheating if she just have a baby it doesn't seem <laughs> right right Right, but you know, like things could be complicated. There could be a lot more going on. This 
than just the baby and just that one incident. There could be multiple incidents where, you know, it could be not just one thing. It could be a collective of things that cause them to not, um, you know, not be compatible anymore in a sense. So it, it could be like a, a, a numerous things. It could be like that was just like, you know, there was just like a tipping point in – in it like the you know that one straw that did make the camel's back and maybe that's why he's just upset maybe he really did try and you know she could be she doesn't care she doesn't see it right now so maybe. guys i'm gonna bring in one more um person to the um to the video here and um have her opinion hi caitlin hi um, so let me play the rest of the video, share the rest of the video so that, um, anybody who is just joining can understand what we're talking about. Um, so I'm going to share the young lady. I'm running to you, right on you, I'm coming for you. I wish you anything for you. I don't want to kill anything for you, you, you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> she is, she is, she's awesome, right? She can dance. <laughs> yeah, so Caitlin, what is your opinion? Well, so um, here's what I think. Mm -hmm. I think that, of course, yeah, their whole relationship is very public. And with that, you know, a lot of things get exposed. But I do think that even though your life is in the media and a lot of, you know, people want the drama and the attention, I do think that you should try to keep some things, you know, to yourself, like personal matters. Mm -hmm. And I get that maybe the husband wanted to say that in public because he felt like he had to justify himself, you know? But I think that, I don't know, especially when a kid is involved, that type of thing should be handled really, like, Del delicately and maybe not so publicly but yeah yeah you're right you're right you're right there's something that we didn't touch on because of the children you are so right they should have handled it more delicately that's a good word here yeah because um i mean this is going to be on youtube forever and um i mean the children is unfortunate right I don't know why these people decided to bring kids into this world and then get to know the person before you go have kids. You're married in 2008. Live, live some life with the person before you just start having kids. That's what I say. So that you know if you're compatible with that person. Yeah. Maybe Anyways. Even, maybe the fact that when they had kids, like something like it was it triggered him or something you know like it made him realize that oh this is like real this is actually happening and it kind of caused things to get you know start the whole thing yeah or maybe because he said that she's not taking her responsibility he did mention that too that um apparently she's not really into what th this is not what she said this is what he said that she's not um taking care you know she's not taking care of her household partly or or, or wifely duty right so yeah that's she's not taking care of her wifely duty so i mean guys this is just horrible 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 situation anyways guys anybody have any last minute um point they want to point out I think the husband must be really hurting why he comes out like that. Because normally men don't really talk much. So when you see they start to take action, something is really, really, really wrong. Mm -hmm. So that is why he come out. He's hurting. Yeah. Unfortunately, he is. 
Um, Britannia, have anything um, you want to add before we close up here? Um, I don't know. They have a kid together, I'm sure. Eventually, two, two kids now. Two kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. They have two kids together. They have lots of time to figure it out. How, how old is she? Uh, I'm not sure. You have to look it up. I'm sure she's in her early, late 20s or early 30s. Okay. And how long were they married for? 2018. Yeah. 2018. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, they have, they have lots of time to figure it out. Sometimes when you're in the spotlight, the public... This the the social media can can be can be a lot I'm sure for a relationship in the spotlight with the baby, um, you know, especially you know she's the one that's kind of an entertainment, and some for some guys that could be somewhat intimidating, so you know, and she's obviously career driven, so I don't know, people fight I, I'm sure they'll hopefully be able to work it out for at least the kid's sake. Wow. Guys, this is this is this is not good. This is not good. But um as I said, you know, um for me because I was in a marriage for 20 years and I can tell you if sometimes you just have to just pack your bags and leave for a peaceful life. I mean, kids are involved and you have to take them into consideration. But um, I do believe that you shouldn't let children um, deter you from having a divorce because you're only, you only will hurt the children in the long run. I just believe that um, you have to just pack your bags and go if it's not working out. I mean, you guys can co-parent. Find somebody you're compatible with. Stop stressing out each other. I mean, life is short, you know? I mean, she wants to do her thing. She's an entertainer. I honestly, if that's how she made money, I do not, I do not feel that people should be um, saying that she's exposing herself and whatnot. Not. I mean, she has to do what she has to do. Somebody has to be the entertainer because she's entertaining us. And we do look and we do like it, right? And guys, I mean, you know, that's all I can say. But um, not all person like it. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Right, and I understand. And I understand that, um, like, my fellow um, person here, Gayon, she doesn't like the idea of somebody exposing herself. And I do understand your point as well, you know. And we have to respect each and every one of our, our opinion, you know. But um, it is what it is. We can't really change her. And he can't change her. And she chose her path. And it's either he's riding with her or he's not riding with her. So um, for him, he must have been thinking about a divorce for a long time to really come out and says, I want a divorce. You also can't really judge her for her like profession like that. You know what her I mean? Her profession, right. Even at the end of the day, like she's still going through a divorce and her family's still like hurting. So it's like, yeah. Her yeah. profession doesn't really matter. It could be any woman, any, any person, anything. Right. I don't, I don't, I, I, you know what? I just think that she's a lovely looking woman and um, I think she won't have a problem finding a man. And you know what? I say kudo to her. I, I don't agree with cheating in a marriage, but if the marriage is not working, nobody's joined to the hip. Just take your bags and your stuff and go. Right? Right, folks? Take your bag and your stuff and you'll go. Right? You need to be happy, 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 happy. That's all we are doing. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for um, coming on here and sharing your opinions. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can sign off now.
Yeah, I, 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 I want to add here that um, I really, I really think, I really, really think that um, if the marriage is in trouble and they go to counseling and it cannot work, it just can't work. And if she's a cheater, that means he's not satisfying her, her needs. And um, counseling is a way, but I mean, something is missing in the marriage, right? She's young, he's young. Um, he, he, say, he stated that she's a narcissist. I don't know. Is she? We don't know. We're only speculating. She live a public life. I think she should come out and she owe us a, she, I mean, she live everything public. She had her baby in the public. So I think she should come out and tell us what is happening. At least she don't have to go into detail, but at least tell us what is happening, you know? So that's what I think. Anyways, guys, I got to go. I am tired. It's the end of the evening. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.